This is Duke University. Once again, Bikini Atoll becomes the scene of the most dramatic nuclear explosion of all. Between 1946 and 1958, 23 nuclear devices were detonated off a small island in the South Pacific. A brilliance of 500 suns lights hundreds of miles of the Pacific, and the force of a million tons of TNT is released. Two decades later, James Joseph, a member of the Carter administration, came to the region. He had a tricky policy issue to solve. One of my responsibilities was to exercise oversight of the American territories. And the people from the island of Bikini, who have been living on an alternate island, because the United States had used lagoons around the island to test atomic weapons and the soil, the soil on the island was radioactive, the coconuts were radioactive. They petitioned me to allow them to return to the island of Bikini so that they could die in the land of their birth. James Joseph met with community members. Now the premier public value in making a decision is that of democratic process. They voted overwhelmingly to return to the island. But I knew that if they returned to the island, they were dooming their children to an early death because the soil was still radioactive. And so I had to decide whether to play God and act in behalf of the children and refuse their petition to return to the island of Bikini or to honor democratic process because that had been an overwhelming vote. He decided the people should not be allowed to return immediately, but he did get the EPA to expedite cleanup. A few years later, the community returned home. The story of the radioactive coconuts is from James Joseph's new memoir. He served as policymaker and advisor to four U.S. presidents and Nelson Mandela. But it's the trip to Bikini that Joseph says changed something for him. The delegation's plane crashed, and he couldn't swim. The book is titled, as you can see, Saved for a Purpose, a journey from private virtues to public values. And I used the title Saved for a Purpose because when I was rescued on a life raft in the South Pacific, when a reporter asked me about how I felt, I said I felt like I have been saved for a purpose.